Uh, I definitely said my older brother. Um, he worked really hard in high school, and he's, you know, he's influenced a lot of my own philosophies about wrestling. And he always told me that I could always be working harder. I could always achieve greatness. You know, you could always, you can always keep going. And so I took it to the next level here. My dad, because he wrestled all throughout high school, and I know he wanted to wrestle in college. He didn't, but he wanted to. So. My high school coach, uh, Stephen Flanagan, really big influence on me. And my other coaches, like Coach Karpov, Coach Vlad, Coach Kevin, and Coach Abe, were always a big influence in my life. They were somewhat of a father figure in a way. They always helped me out no matter what I needed. They were, they were always there for me no matter what. I would say all three of my brothers because they always wanted to do it and they never really got to do it. One, uh, there are a couple people, but I'd say my, my parents, my mom and my dad, they've been a big influence to me. They've supported me in all of my decisions if I, about wrestling, about cutting weight, and they've made sure that I loved what I do, and they helped me to get where I am today. Probably my dad. He wrestled in college, and he's one of the best people I know. Uh, my, I have two people. Okay, one was my high school coach. High school coaches, Coach David Wise and Coach Steve Lafaso. And then also Coach Gene Mills at uh, Ultimate Athletics, as well as Coach Boda, all influenced me to become a college wrestler. So again, my dad probably. Well, my parents obviously, although they never were too pushy with the sport, they always just wanted me to have fun with it. Uh, my coach back in high school, Garteser, he started coaching me in like kindergarten and then all the way through, and he's just pretty much made me the wrestler I am today. His name's Coach Garteser, you know. So he's all about the sport and made me all about it. Oh, Coach Durham likes to win, and I like to win, so I mean, we agree on something very important, so I mean, that was a quick thing to drive me here, so. He was a good guy, he recruited me, and I met him a few times before I came here, and I liked him a lot, and uh, just trusted him, my decision. Um, like again, I, you know, how he, you know, I could see he believed in me, you know, just talking to him, I could see he had like a, you know, kind of like a smile, like I could see the gears working in his head, like a plan to make me a better wrestler. You know, in practice every day, he's always saying, hey, how are you, you know, checking in on us. You know, he's always there and he's always, always ready to work with us. His whole, uh, like, mentality and his philosophy, philosophy, like, about wrestling, I just really, uh, like, loved it. So that's why I chose the U. Coach Dernlin, when, when I came up, he, he's a very, he's, Straightforward, he's nice. Coach Borshoff's nice too, both Borshoffs. And they're just great people to be around. Coach Darnlin was just, I, I felt like he was just a really good coach. I read about him and I knew, you know, I was gonna, I was really wanted to come to Binghamton and wrestling. I wanted to wrestle here and Coach Darnlin was just a really good, he seemed like a very good coach and I think he really is. Uh, he seemed like a good man and a good coach. I, felt that I could trust him for five years and be here happily for five years. On, yeah. Just when you talk to him about wrestling and almost about anything, he just seems like someone that could mentor you. Like, he, he gets it and he could help you. And just everything about him just shows that he's going to get you better in everything you do. He's just kind of like, uh, I guess, a father away from home. He just kind of pushes you in the right direction. The upperclassmen, um, at first, I thought they were going to be mean, but they're honestly some of the coolest dudes I've met up at this campus so far, and um, they just motivate me every day. They tell me, like, just push through. It's easier the second time. Just keep working hard, keep your head up, so. They've made it very easy. They've uh, given a bunch of tips for what to do for classes and for practice. And they've been so kind and like helped us out in circumstances and it really helps out. Well, you know, you come into, you come into school and you're just really nervous at first and then these guys are just always there. You know, they always, you know, reach their hand out, help me out no matter what. Really, they really took me in, in a way. And it really helped me make the transition from high school to college. You know, to feel like I was part of a family. Um, they've been really great. Um, you know, they've been making sure I've been going through the technique right. You know, pushing me um, through some of the harder practices. 
you know, encourage, again, encouraging me. If I look a little down, making sure I'm getting everything down right. And, you know, most importantly, they're putting time into me. You know, they're not just saying like, oh, well, he doesn't get it. Let's throw him to the wayside. Now they're, you know, they're putting their time into me, make sure I get things done right. Oh, they have the biggest help, honestly, because like when I came here in the summer, I was real nervous, and then they took me in. Like I was immediately a part of the family, pretty much, and. They started beating up on me, and I can really feel myself improving, which is the most important part. Cool. I'm really friendly with a lot of them, but with all the older kids, even like the juniors and seniors, they're really nice, and they made us into one big family already. Uh, they're really helpful. Like, I live off campus because I'm a transfer, so my housemates, they're all juniors, so like they all uh, like help me with like my homework if I need help with anything. So it's really close knit family. It's just kind of like when I was back at high school, when you come in, you're scared, you don't know what to do, and they just kind of show you the ropes and uh, help you um, fit in, so. It's been a big help because I would have been completely lost around campus if they weren't showing me, oh look, there's lecture hall, there's West Gym. And they definitely help me get around and adjust to the lifestyle, keeping my head up if I'm ever feeling down about a bad practice or anything like that.